am back in BC and ready to find some more gold. I just found another piece of gold, but it's really deep. It feels good to be back in Canada, but it's a lot colder than it was in New Zealand, that's for sure. Ooh. So today I'll be sniping with Bailey. I also brought my metal detector to do some detecting. I always try to detect while I'm out sniping, but it's really hard because if I'm finding gold underwater, I don't want to get out of the water to detect. The water looks a little bit high today. No big deal, we'll, we'll make it work. You're gonna find gold today. Oh yeah. The water is way colder here than it is in New Zealand or Australia. How are you finding the water temperature? Good. Warm? Yeah, Canadian. Yeah. I found our first piece of the day. Sometimes this will happen to you. You think you found a piece of gold, but it's, it's not. It's yellowy piratey stuff. It was actually nothing. It was a piece of pyrite. Let's keep going. I moved away from that spot because there was a lot of pyrite there. Notice how yellow the water is when the water is up this high. Now it's green and orange. Also notice all the bedrock down there. I'll get to explore that later in the year because I'm sure there are some good gold in those deeper crevices. While I was pushing myself along, I came across this shallow crack right in the center of the river that could be good. Let's find out. So the first thing I'll do is use my leg arms to remove the surface overburden so I can see if there's any packed rock below it. I then can use my arm legs to find out the deeper parts of the crevice. Sometimes the camera falls over and you have to reset it and nah, 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 nah. it's annoying. The whole reason you would use your leg arms is so you can move material without holding your breath. You could also wear dive weights, but I, I never do. I tried moving this rock with my foot, but it was too heavy. So this area is definitely a good area to spend more time as the bedrock is so shallow, but I'll have to come back when the water level drops. Time to move out. Once I moved to the shallower areas, I started to see actual gold. My face just burns right now. The beard isn't helping. If you like these videos, even if we're only finding a little bit of gold, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. I just found another piece of gold, but it's really deep. It's really hard to get. Most of the time when you see me just spot a piece of gold, it's because I spent a lot of time removing the overburden off camera before showing you the gold that was beneath it. And this spot here is a perfect example of what happens to you when you're not wearing dive weight. You just keep floating back up. Two hours later. I ended up losing sight of the piece of gold, so I was just trying to fan out the material to see if I can see it again. Eventually, I turned the camera off to save battery and grabbed it. After wasting a bunch of time, I finally found our first picker of the day and decided to try out my new shampoo snuffer out. A great success! Following that same crack along, I did find another little picker and a whole bunch of micro gold that you may or may not be able to see on camera. Flat pieces of gold can be really hard to find because they can be hiding in the thinnest of cracks. Here's my biggest flat piece I've ever found. <laughs> okay, this one's stubborn. 
I found a random piece of gold just sitting out in the open. Take note how shiny it is, even on camera. I have to lick my lips to keep them warm. They're all swollen and frozen. The last time I was here, it was in the summertime when the water was really low. I'm hoping now that the water's high, I'll be able to snipe some spots that were out of the water during the summertime. Because the water's too high for us to swim upstream, we're gonna have to hike around. There's already a trail here, interesting. Right when I got to the top, I realized it, it was a cliff. Yeah, never mind. I'm not doing that. Bailey and I crossed the river instead and just started testing spots that had exposed bedrock. <laughs> Bailey said he found something. It's a nice. Ah, <laughs> Turns out Bailey found a piece of pyrite too. <laughs> False alarm. We got a lot of false alarms here. Anytime I see these potholes, I always clean them out. Most of the time, the bedrock is smooth underneath, which doesn't normally hold gold, but they are always worth checking in case there is a piece heavy enough to sit there or there is a packed crevice at the bottom. Now there will be fine gold amongst all this gravel, but that's not what I typically look for when sniping. But this is a good example of what I do look for. Cracks at the bottom. This one, unfortunately, is too deep for me to properly clean out with the set of tools I brought today, so I'll have to come back another day. I also decided to go back to the other snuffer bottle. Got another one. Sometimes I like to exercise my inner dolphin and check out the deeper spots. But the better spot in this frame would be to my left under those big boulders, but perhaps another day. A little bit to my right, I broke a piece of loose bedrock off and found a little piece of gold. I sucked it up and then noticed some rocks that were still stuck in this crevice, so let's clean it out. These gasket picks are my favorite crevicing tool for sniping. They're super durable and they're super durable. This crevice unfortunately didn't have any more gold. After having my much needed defrosting break, I was hunting along some shallow areas of bedrock and I wasn't finding anything big, but I kept finding little pieces of gold. And as y'all know, little gold does add up. I don't know how much longer I could last. I'm getting pretty cold. Bailey was doing the smart thing. He got out and did some panning and uh, stayed warm while I stayed in the water and forgot to turn my camera off. So I wasted a bunch of battery multiple times. All right, so I'm calling it a day. Oh, the beard doesn't look that bad. I'm calling it a day. It's uh, been really, really cold. I didn't find as much gold as I wanted to, but hey, I'm finding gold. I'm not complaining. So let's dump out the gold and see how we did. So here it is, Le Candy for the day. We have a few interesting pieces here. Uh, these three pieces have mercury on them, which isn't good, but in my defense, I didn't notice them till I got home. 
I actually found these other pieces that had more mercury on them, but I've already given them to the claim owner. So these guys, I'll just add to the next melt. This piece caught my attention because of how rough it is. It hasn't been worn down like most of the other plaster gold we have found because it's somewhat recently shedded out of the quartz vein. A very good sign that we could be near the source. This is our biggest piece of the day. I would even consider that a small nugget. Any piece that's thicker and makes this sound is technically a nugget. And my favorite piece of the day, this golden bear. Does that look like a bear to you? Or does it look like a 2013 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4? So let's start with our big nugget of the day. Four gram ounces. 0.26 grams. Heavier than I thought. Now the rest of the stuff. Take your guesses. 40 ounces. So in total, 1.10. Sweet. So 0.55 will go to the claim owner. I'll give him the nugget. And the other half will go into my March bag because that's when I shot this video. So this is gonna be one of the last times you're gonna see this iconic blue room because I am moving. Unfortunately, I don't own my own house yet, so I might just end up moving to the river. But yeah, I'm super sad to see this room go as I spent a lot of time making it, you know, poly. But I'm sure one day I'll own an entire house that I can make full of poly stuff. Perfect segue to say my merch store is about to be opened again. Soon you'll be able to get some merchandise again, hoodies, t-shirts, and whatever else. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I previously posted, like our Schluvel video here in the background and many more in the future. I am on other social media platforms. If you wanna see anything else behind the scenes, like, <laughs> like bloopers from this video and other stuff, including early release videos if you are on Patreon. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next one, other videos that will give you luck.